Welcome back to our channel, guys. Hey. So today we are gonna go ahead and get started on Wyatt's tongue and groove wood ceiling. We went and moved all of the stained tongue and groove from the pole barn and put it on the deck for easy access while we work. We also had to move some tools into Wyatt's room. I have a feeling there's going to be a ton of measuring going on today. If anything's like the rest of the house, we're gonna have to do lots of different types of cuts. I'm gonna have to make a new beat stick to use on the tongue and groove. I'm gonna have to use my jigsaw to cut out Wyatt's fan light just to make sure that fits correctly. And when all said and done, hopefully we can take a break to relax a little tiny bit right before we get back to work and make sure we can get Wyatt's ceiling done before he gets home. And I say I'm ready to get this going, so let's get it. Yeah. All right guys, so on Wyatt's ceiling, we're gonna be trying something just a tad bit different than the rest of the house. The rest of the house, we tried to use every single piece of scrap uh, tongue and groove that we bought. So we'd have like a whole sheet and then use the cutoff and then keep going. But we bought enough for Wyatt's room, hopefully, that we can do one board across on each row. So I think that's gonna save us a lot of time. That's basically the look you're going for anyway. Right, just having long, you know, planks of wood. So hopefully we can get this done easier that way instead of cutting so many extra little pieces. Yeah, and you know, keeping tabs of which order they're going in. Yeah, so we're just gonna be measuring and cutting and stapling up, well, nailing up. Yeah. All right, here we go. The first board. So remember, we always we left. I think it was a quarter of an inch. Yeah. I was cutting. Hold on. All right. All right, so 36 and a half, so I'll do 36 and a quarter. 136. Oh, let's say 36. 136 and a quarter. Okay. 136 and a quarter, so that's gonna be roughly, the length of most of these planks is gonna be right around 136. As you guys know, when you build a house and even old houses and everything, the walls aren't perfectly 100% square. It's a fact. Yeah. Even brand new houses are not 100% square. There's no square walls in any house. Ask anybody. So hopefully around that. But we're gonna double check on each measurement just to be sure. Yeah. yeah. I've also went ahead and gone through the boards and made sure that the ones that are the most straight and not so warped are up on the top. So the first row we put in is nice and straight. So we have a perfect starting point. I need my beat stick. I need as much of this as I can. This is the most important board, remember, babe? Yes, the first one. Oh yeah. Let's make set it for the rest. Good. I'm all the way over. Yeah, I mean, I'm good. I don't know if a quarter of an inch is too much. What do you mean? You have a big old gap? It's not huge. How big? It's a quarter of an inch. Okay. Um, We're gonna have to work our way down. And make sure it's not bowed. Yes, it, it. We'll have to push it in there. Okay. Yeah, I'm only doing one nail on the top. Okay. 
the way down, right? On the drywall? Yeah. Six and a quarter. Yep. Okay. There you go. I think that's what you did on the last one too. What? One thirty-six and a quarter. On the in our on this board. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. If I remember, I can just get this corner in. Remember that's how we did it before, right? Yeah. Good. Wow. These first two boards went in actually really, really easy. I'm very surprised. Unlike the rest of the house. Oh, babe. Yeah. <laughs> Let's hope that the rest of them are this easy. We haven't even used the clamps, guys. No. Hey, maybe we won't have to. Maybe. Ooh. I was going to say, I like this spot right here. It feels nice. <laughs> Good thing we got them wood clamps. Yeah, this is the first time we've had to use it. Well, in Wyatt's room anyway. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> what I mean, today. First time we've had to use it today. Ready? Right there we go. For some of you that may have missed us do the, the rest of the ceiling inside our house, there's a little tip for you right here. All right. If you reverse a wood clamp, you can screw a screw into the, the truss beams or rafters or anything if you have nowhere to grip and use that wood clamp to spread apart basically pushing the warped tongue and groove board into the next one and make it nice and tight and then you just nail it right up and it's super easy oh yes it makes it way easier to install warped boards yeah <laughs> just like that yep very very easy to hold it in place and make it nice and tight look how tight that is so the, with the wood clamp because sometimes we get some boards that are very warped, even in the middle and on the end. Sometimes they're warped up and then out. It just <laughs> so sometimes the clamp we have to like use it the whole way down. But on this one, we just had to use it on the end, which was way better. Nice. Yeah. So now we've gotten all of the uh, tongue and groove boards up until where the ceiling kind of goes up and then over. So hopefully, this next board that we clamp in there, it should fit in there very nice and be nice and flushed up against the top part. Uh, hopefully, yeah. Yeah, um, we'll see. we've had to cut our boards before um, for like the living room, kitchen area. Right on that lip part, we've had to cut them down, just down to size and at a 22 degree angle or 22 and a half. Yeah. Yeah, cut them down so that way when that next piece is up against there, it fits nice. But when we worked on the kitchen in the living room on this side of the house, we ended up not cutting the board. We ended up just putting a whole piece in there and grabbing a hold of the other one. And it worked out really good. We didn't have to cut nothing. So that's kind of what we're doing in here right now. So yeah, it's right on, it's right on the angle. Piece it is. Anyway, yeah. So it worked out perfect. Yeah, it worked out perfect or it is going to work out perfect. I will say Wyatt's room is probably the easiest we have done in this entire house <laughs> so far. Yeah, I don't Wyatt has the master suite because it was the last of everything we did so we learned all how to do everything when we got to his room so yeah i mean so all the problems are everywhere else so yeah. when we get to his room it's like oh i remember that i remember yeah this. I remember we have that. a yeah well by the time we get to wyatt's room we have a really good flow and a yeah. good system worked out so it just it's just very easy we need to get a system worked out to clean up this dust So I do that. 
work. Get in there. Right over here. Push up. But I get. Okay. Yeah. Can you get some of those on the mom move down? Yeah. Okay. second there we are moving like pond water well once we get past this we'll be we'll be all right yeah the worst part is over <laughs> hopefully uh, we did get that piece in there uh, took a little bit of finagling but we got it in there and actually it looks really good um in there at that angle it does it's just that was a nightmare yeah it was a little bit of a pain and it oh. didn't help that uh this board was just a little bit warped i've seen it way worse but didn't help <laughs> that's all right it's done now we just got straight flat to the wall and that's it bye this is it guys the last room of the house to finish We are moving right along guys and we are right at the point where we have to cut the hole for the fan. So Anthony went ahead and removed Wyatt's fan for now. And we've already cut this first board, kind of measured out and figured out where we need to cut the hole. Anthony went over there to go get his jigsaw. So seems like too that we also lucked out yet again to where uh, there's going to be two tongue and groove pieces that just fit right nicely in line with that light hole so that worked out pretty good we've actually had luck the entire house where two tongue and groove boards right onto it this is it baby this is the last hole for the ceiling that needs to get cut yes this is it which i'm happy about yeah me too <laughs> yeah i'm a little over tongue and groove <laughs> I'll cut some more. It should fit once it's in. Okay. So, maybe a rough one because it's going to be tilted. That's right. Yeah, it is in pre it's in all the way down.
moment of truth. Huh. It's the moment of truth. Check it out guys, once again, <laughs> we measured correct. We did. <laughs> <laughs> For once, we did it again guys, I'm happy. Yeah, me too. We finally are done making holes. This one is round, or a square instead of round, but that's okay because the cover on t uh, the fan is going to completely cover it anyway, and you don't have to do round holes, so square ones work really well guys, I think, so it came out good. I'm happy. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I will say this, guys. Wyatt is going to be very, very excited about this when he gets home. He's been asking and asking and asking. Well, reminding. Reminding. Yes. Are you guys going to do my ceiling anytime soon? When are you guys doing my ceiling, Dad? Hey, Mom, are you guys going to do my ceiling? He's been asking. All right, last piece, guys. Yeah. This one we're going to have to beat in. Yeah, and we cut it to size. Yeah, it's a little tiny bit, you know, not perfect, but... Oh, come on, I gotta... There we go. We're gonna have to beat this one in. There we go. Now we are cooking with Crisco. I can't believe we did it all in one day. I'm so, I know. Happy. I'm so happy. I know. I'm so, so, so happy. I'm proud of ourselves. Tongue and groove on the ceiling in the house is done. Woo! The only thing we got left in this room. And our room now is the trim, which I'm gonna have to do. And that piece of trim on the kitchen, or in the kitchen. I'm thinking about just putting 2023 where the trim's supposed to go as a constant reminder of how long it taken me to put a little piece of trim up, but that's all we got left. And I will say guys, it really changes the feel in Wyatt's room in here. <laughs> changes the feel? Yeah. I, we were talking about it while we were working and stuff and we're like, man, you know, Wyatt's room's always had the insulation and I'm sure he's sick of looking at it. And I've been kind of sick of looking at it too every time I come in here. It's like a constant reminder of, hey, this needs to get done. And, hey, this is still, you know, a work in progress. But not no more, guys. It looks so amazing in here. And Anthony mentioned it too. Uh, Wyatt is gonna be so excited when he sees this and it's done. Dust everywhere in your life. Get all this too. Oh. Okay. Here you need that bracket. Alright, put it on. Oh. <laughs> I put it on. I actually um, was like thinking, I was like, you know, I'm gonna bring it out and use. Use um, different screws to bring it out more. Mm -hmm. So it's not such a pain to put back on because mm -hmm. of the tongue and groove. Yeah. See what I'm saying? Yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Make sure everything is covered unlike in our room before the power went back on. <laughs> and all the grounds went together. And the 
this. I thought there was three. Is there three? Oh yeah, there was. I'm like, there was three, I know there was. <laughs> the house. Yeah. yeah. Flip the breaker back on and let's make sure everything works because we have problems with that in our room. So, yeah. All right, breaker's on, bathroom lights back on. Yes, lights working. Fans working. Ah, looks good. Yeah. yeah, he's gonna be excited for sure. Why when he's home? Oh, yeah, he's. Yeah. He's definitely gonna notice it. Yeah. <laughs> I do a little touch up in his room too. Now. Yeah. It's alright. It's alright. Touch up is touch up. All right, while we let those dry, we're trying to figure out how we want to rearrange Wyatt's room. Now that his ceiling looks so good. Yeah, and uh, everything's already pulled out of here, so this is an opportunity to maybe spruce it up a little bit. Yeah, see if we want to change it around. We're not sure. Yeah. Nothing like that, but we're working on it. Yeah. We'll see how it's going to turn out. Yeah, he should be home any minute. <laughs> Anytime. <laughs> and what, what? What are you saying? We're going to what? Oh, I said it's a work in progress. It's a work in progress. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It's a very much work in progress. And you're home. Yeah. <laughs> Check out what we did. It's not 100% done yet, but. Check it out. Whoa. You see the ceiling? Yeah. yeah, I see it. You've only been asking for months. I know. What do you think? A lot months different. And months. I like it. You like you it? Why are you rearranging your room? Yeah, we're trying to figure out kind of a, how we want it or how we think it's going to be good for you. But you're here now, so you can give us some input too. Yeah, see what do you think? How you want your room, but this is where this isn't how it's going to be. We're just thinking. Hmm. It's just an idea. So any yeah. ideas? I like it like this, but I would move that on the arcade machine. Maybe like right there still, well. but I still have some space. Hmm. I would like that. I'm loafing on the bed, I see. Yeah, <laughs> taking a breather. Ugh. All right, so we move stuff around again, guys. Trying to figure this stuff out. But Roxanne and I have come to the conclusion that yes, we are Wyatt's parents. We have the ultimate say no matter what. That's just how it is. But we're gonna let Wyatt decide how he wants his room. But if it's absolutely horrible, we're gonna tell him no. Why you get some choices here. Do you want your room like this, right? How it is now. Mm -hmm. Just so how we, it is now. I don't know if you guys know if we move his dresser right here. We're trying to figure everything out. Yeah. Or did you like it in the middle with this shelf over here and your bed in the middle? I'm going to say the truth. Yeah, whatever. You, look at, hold or up. the way you had it before. I yeah. liked it how it was right here. You liked it in the middle? I did. You liked the bed in the middle? Yeah. With the shelves on both sides. I like it. Okay, where? Okay. Okay. Is that, that's how you want it? Yeah. Okay. Well, right. I guess that's how he wants it. Spin <laughs> it around. Wyatt has spoken. He wants it in the middle. That's what we're going to do.
Can we just go through this? Here's why it's finished room, uh, as you guys can see. Let me back up for you guys. It looks pretty, pretty good, I think. Yeah, I think it turned out amazing in here. Um, the ceiling's really nice. It yeah. changes the feel. It does, I right? Changes the it feel. It changes definitely. the whole feel of everything. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the whole you, house. It changes the whole feel of the whole house. You like the way your room is set up now, Wyatt? Yes. You like your headboard? Yeah. Wow. I think the headboard was a awesome idea. Uh, use for the leftover tongue and groove stuff. Yeah, we painted it black and used to other, match. Yeah. Because you're wondering. And we used the other side of the tongue and groove, so they are like smaller looking slats. Yeah. Yeah. As you guys can see, so it came out really good. Yeah, I think so. Wyatt likes it. I like it. I like it. So it's been a very, very long day, guys. It has, but I am so glad that we got done everything we wanted to get done today. Everything. I'm. I'm still surprised we got his ceiling done I, in, in one day. Yeah, me too. It was that so was, much easier this go around. That was the goal today was to get it done before he came home from school. Yeah. So he can be like, oh man, it looks so nice. And he did. Yeah. And so that's awesome. Yeah. And then we just threw when we had time, we threw in his headboard. So yeah. yeah. Definitely looks like a nine year old's bedroom though. Yes. I'll it, tell you. It does. <laughs> it definitely does. So. <laughs> that's all right though. So. Yeah. But it's time for dinner guys, it's getting late. Thank you guys all for being here on this video. We appreciate every single one of you guys for being here. Yes, absolutely. Thank you guys so much and we will catch you all on the next one. Bye. Bye. Bye.